This week, Intel officially revealed the 14th generation Meteor like processors for laptops. Surprisingly, the company chose not to provide any information about its upcoming 14th generation desktop processors, which are based on the Raptor Lake refresh architecture. Essentially, it's a minor update to the current 13th generation desktop processors, while Meteor Lake for laptop is a proper next gen architecture. However, it's clear that the 14th generation desktop processors are coming very soon, as they've appeared in various benchmarks, leaks, and have been confirmed by numerous trustworthy industry sources. In this video, I want to talk about the upcoming 14th generation, as well as future CPU generations that Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger mentioned by name during the innovation keynote this Tuesday. Will Intel be able to regain competitive edge over AMD, or will the blue giant keep falling further behind? Let's find out. But first, CDKeyOffer.com has been my favorite trusted seller of affordable Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for over three years now. They are currently running a back-to-school sale on all Microsoft software. Use discount code IVADIM to get 25% off and bring the Windows 10 Pro price down to just $16 then securely check out with PayPal or another payment method. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you wish to do so. Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale with a discount code IVADIM. Grab them now while the back-to-school sale is on. The days when it was okay to release a new CPU generation that brings only single-digit improvements over the previous one are long gone. AMD is leading the CPU innovation with its Zen architecture, consistently delivering double-digit improvements with each new generation. I believe this is the primary reason why Intel chose to unveil the 14th generation laptop processors based on the new Meteor Lake architecture and manufactured using the new Intel 4 process, while remaining silent about its plans for launching the 14th generation desktop processors, which are based on the older Raptor Lake architecture and Intel 7 process. The desktop 14th generation processors are expected to bring just 3 to 5% performance uplift in games over the 13th generation, while the laptop 14th generation is expected to deliver a proper 10 to 20% improvement over the previous generation. If I were Intel's CEO, I'd also be ashamed to talk about a 3 to 5% uplift on the big stage. So, I think we'll see a quiet 14th gen desktop processor launch in the coming weeks. According to the latest leaks, the new desktop CPUs will be available in stores on October 17th. Additionally, we should see independent product reviews on the same day. It is official that the 14th generation laptop processors will launch on December 14th, but don't expect good availability at the initial release. In fact, according to industry sources, most people won't be able to get their hands on a new 14th gen laptop until early 2024, when larger volumes are expected to ship. On a positive note, there should be ample supply of the 14th generation desktop processors at launch, since they are manufactured using the tried and tested Intel 7 process. A pleasant surprise is that the new desktop CPUs utilize the existing LGA1700 socket, and as a result are compatible with all Intel 600 and 700 series motherboards after a BIOS update. Moreover, some motherboard makers have already released next-gen CPU updates for certain motherboards, further supporting the imminent launch of the 14th generation desktop processors. Here are all the known specifications of the desktop 14th generation processors. The common theme across all SKUs is a higher core clock frequency, which is the main contributor to the 3-5% average performance uplift over the previous generation. Notably, the Core i7 processors stand out, because they received 4 extra e-cores compared to the 13th gen i7, potentially resulting in a 15-20% multi-threading performance uplift. By the way, only 6 models will launch in October. Those are i5 14600K and KF, i7 14700K and KF, and i9 14900K and KF. All other models are rumored to launch early next year, most likely at CES 2024 in January. I believe that the 13th generation will remain a more popular choice over the holiday season, because its prices have already been reduced compared to its original MSRP. It will take some time for the newly launched 14th generation prices to come down. Interestingly, we are seeing a similar trend with AMD processors right now. 
The current generation Ryzen 7000 series is competing with the previous generation Ryzen 5000 series for the best seller spot, primarily because the 5000 series is now available at a very attractive price. People certainly appreciate a good bargain. Now let's delve into the future Intel processors. The roadmap shared by Pat Gelsinger at Intel Innovation Day 2023 highlights the Arrow Lake, Lunar Lake and Panther Lake processors. The Arrow Lake architecture is set to power the upcoming 15th generation of laptop and desktop processors, expected to arrive in the second half of 2024. Lunar Lake, on the other hand, is designed for ultra-compact devices and is slated for launch in the first half of 2025. Finally, Panther Lake is currently in the plans to drive the 16th generation of Intel desktop and laptop processors by the end of 2025. The 15th generation Arrow Lake is particularly noteworthy. In simulated performance tests, it demonstrated a significant improvement, delivering 30 to 40% better single core performance and over 40% better multi core performance compared to the 13th generation Raptor Lake. The 15th generation will maintain the same 8P core plus 16E core configuration. However, there is a larger 8P core plus 32E core configuration in development, which may see a launch in Q2 or Q3 of 2025. I suspect it will be a special model positioned above the regular i9 processors. Oh, and by the way, Intel is changing its naming scheme starting with the next generation. The processors will be named Core Ultra 5, 7 and 9. No more i5, i7 and i9. The 15th generation Lunar Lake processors are specifically designed for ultra-compact devices. As a result, they feature a configuration of up to 4P cores and 4E cores, boasting very low TDPs. The current plan is to equip them with the next generation of Intel Arc graphics known as Battle Mage. As for the 16th generation Panther Lake, it's too early to discuss specifications. These products are so far ahead in the future that many variables can change. Undoubtedly, Intel engineers are doing their best to achieve a double-digit performance uplift with this generation as well. And frankly, they have to because AMD shows no signs of slowing down. AMD's Zen 5 architecture, set to power the next generation of Ryzen 8000 series processors, is rumored to deliver over a 20% average performance increase and launch in the first half of 2024. Following that, Zen 6 is expected to bring yet another significant improvement in performance in the second half of 2025 or the first half of 2026. I am thrilled to see that CPU technology is advancing at a faster pace than ever before. This progress enables game and application developers to implement a variety of features that were previously impossible due to limitations in compute power. Despite the current era of GPU dominance, the CPU remains an integral part of any computer. Hence, progress in CPU technology is a necessity. By the way, the recently launched game, Starfield, is quite demanding on the CPU. Some last-gen processors struggle to deliver a smooth 60 plus FPS experience, even when paired with an RTX 4090 graphics card at 1080p. While it's just one example, it highlights that there will likely be more games in the future that will benefit from faster CPUs right from day one. I'll be in the comments below if you want to have a chat about anything you'd like to discuss. Other than that, check out these two videos to learn more about the forthcoming PC hardware. And if you enjoyed this video, then reward it with a like and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim, until next time.